morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this video from wherever you're watching this video. I hope uh, you guys are doing well. And again, as usual, I need to apologize that I've made this video after such a long break. But yeah, I was uh, stuck with some work, both professional and uh, personal. So I didn't uh, get enough time to make the kind of video I wanted to make. Well, anyways, uh, let's get started. Today's topic is another raw material called embrosonide. And as usual, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be talking to you and I'm going to project the uh, screen that I'm going to be writing on, on the screen that you can see. And uh, here we go. Let's start with a very interesting statement made by a perfumer called Maurice Rossell. Uh, Mr. Maurice, I really hope I have pronounced your name correctly. I'm sorry if I got it wrong. But uh, in case you're wondering who this person is, he's a perfumer. He has worked with Chanel for six years and he's worked with these brands that you can see here. You can also Google his profile on Fragrantica. It's, these are the bunch of uh, brands he's worked with. So yeah, he's a famous perfumer and his statement in one of the books, which I'll show you the book as well, the embrosonide as a molecule is the Viagra of the ambery woody notes of the fragrance. This is from the book called Chemistry and Biodiversity, Volume 11. And when you go down, when, you, when he's talking about embrosonide, here you see, embrosonide is the Viagra of the ambery woody notes of the fragrance. Anyways, so that's just something interesting to start off with. What is embrosonide? Embrosonide is a raw material which is basically uh, powder in form. Uh, it's always, almost always white in color. Sometimes depending on the make, it can be off-white as well. Uh, the two forms of embrosonide that I have used, one is the Indian version, which was white in the starting and then over time it was slightly getting off white but no major difference as such after dilution and the second one that I have right now is the original one from Simrise they are the uh, market leaders with respect to Sim uh, with respect to embrosonide at least that's what I've been told and you see sounds like powder and when I I don't know if you can see that's white powder in there yeah so this is 100 gram I have 100 grams of embrosonide here which is amazing and after diluting it let me show you it's a very clear liquid it's powder and crystal crystalline powder is what they say white off white as I mentioned it is also available not only as powder but also in diluted form and generally the most popular one is 10% because at 10% also it's very strong and the liquid as I showed you is clear after dilution and this was probably diluted uh, I think in December and still there is no discoloration as of now so uh, with respect to discoloration I have an update I had made a video on ethyl maltol and uh, without knowing the exact reason I mentioned that uh, it is rusting the aluminium box as such and one of the comments mentioned to me that aluminium as such doesn't have red rust and that got me thinking what it is and uh, at the end of the day I figured out it's discoloration of the ethyl maltol itself after uh, getting exposed to oxygen or to the atmosphere I don't want to be specifically saying oxygen uh, to the atmosphere it kind of starts discoloring and you might have also noticed that uh, there are a lot of fragrances that are sweet in nature that kind of discolor over time um, one of the fragrances I think was a brand called Tom of Finland or something like that that came up 
in certain posts that I had seen that was discoloring um, after many months and my assumption is because it might have either ambrosonide in it or some material uh, sorry ethyl maltol ethyl maltol in it uh, or some material that basically discolors over time there's nothing to be scared about discoloration as such unless you're putting it on uh, white clothing that I have received a lot of flack for because we have one fragrance which is very uh, dark in color and a few friends of mine called me up and they're like you owe me a new shirt and I'm like okay so yeah there was not rust the discoloration was because of ethyl maltol and as of now with respect to ambrosonide there is no discoloration that I can confirm uh, pricing wise it is a very expensive material when I say very expensive I'm comparing it to other materials which are easily available like the Indian make of ambrosonide in India touches 60 to 70 thousand rupees a kg uh, again this basically also depends on uh, demand and supply availability and supply rather uh, and the imported one or the Simrise one that I have crosses 75,000 plus taxes depending on from where you buy it and what's the quantity you're buying as such and in case you plan to import it like from a website like a perfumer apprentice as such it is even more expensive it is for 250 grams you're paying almost 1,316 dollars which is almost 1.08 lakhs and yeah just con let's confirm it is uh, perfumer's apprentice and Am ambrosonide crystals yeah 1316 dollars for 250 grams and today's conversion is one lakh eight thousand rupees so it is a pretty damn expensive material but keeping in mind it's used in lower percentages it kind of uh it kind of equals it it evens it out okay now that was the look and feel <clears throat> what does it smell like to my nose it is an extremely powerful molecule it it basically projects very fast instantly and loud projection and when I say it's extremely powerful you will either love it or you will hate it and there is a but here that you see when I say but basically what happens is if you start giving it some time and you like woody fragrances as such you will over time start loving ambrosonide it is an outstanding material it's like again I don't want to sound rude it's not for the newbies and when I say newbies I am again trying to uh, not not be offensive or no offense to people who are starting out new generally what happens is uh, people who are starting out new in the fragrance journey they start with fresh fragrances aquatic fragrances fragrances that are considered to be mass appealing and uh, they might not like ambrosonide at all but on the other hand for connoisseurs who have fragrances of all types and already have dived into materials like oud and javanol and whatnot ambrosonide is something that is a must-have for them to try because of its powerful nature and also um, once you've gone into orientals the woodiness that ambrosonide can uh, bring to the table to the other fragrances that you layer it with is amazing and uh, yeah that's mainly for people who want to try out new different notes like uh, there was this one fragrance that was created I forgot the name of the fragrance but it has notes like credit card and there was something else there was one with table uh, with a tennis ball note and one with asphalt note and so many other things like so it's not as um, weird as a note like a tennis ball note but it's more like sawdust like I have mentioned here it's very very sawdust like and it's it it goes right straight into the head it, it's powerful like there is no um, 
if I have to describe properly, it's a mask buster as well. I mean, if you're wearing a mask also, you can smell ambrosonide for sure. Ambrosonide is a very dry scent profile. Another example for a dry scent profile is uh, timber silk, one of the ISOE supers that also has a very dry uh, scent profile. And that's why um, I get this feel of sawdust kind of scent profile mainly because to me sawdust is very dry as a smell. The smell of sawdust is very dry I should say. <laughs> yeah and people near you might choke. Uh, this is especially for people who are going to smell ambrosonite for the first time uh, since again the nth time I'm saying that it's very powerful. Uh, there are very high chances that uh, it can be uh, overwhelming to many people and hence we always say that you know you start with one spray and you're fine you get used to this after for one spray and then once you start liking it you can probably go to you can be brave enough to go to the second spray or the third spray as such um, coming to the other positives as such it is an extremely long lasting material it lasts very long as a singular molecule by itself probably the whole day as well. Um, it can push other nodes to perform more than their natural limits. When I say this, I mean uh, if you have a fragrance that has citruses in the top nodes, um, which probably lasts for a 20 minutes, half an hour, maybe an hour or so, ambrosonide layered with your fragrance, which is citrusy, will uh, give the boost to the citruses. And the big advantage here is that ambrosonide boosts all levels of the perfume, top note, mid note and base notes. So not only citruses, it will boost your florals, it will boost your woods, basically it boosts the whole fragrance. And probably that's one of the reasons why this word has been used. But yeah, that's uh, ambrosonide to my nose. Coming to IFRA ratings. IFRA ratings. I keep talking about IFRA that you know I'm going to make a video about IFRA very soon. Here also I'm going to say that there will be a separate video to give some more information about IFRA and trust me I'm actually working on it. I have started with the blank slate for it as well, IFRA and reformulations. So I will definitely make a video on that as well. Now. According to IFRA or rather with respect to IFRA ratings, ambrosonide is unrestricted. You can use as much ambrosonide as you want as long as you can tame the final product. So yeah, it is unrestricted. You can use how much ever you want. Like for example, if I'm going to use this, which is only ambrosonide, so technically 100% ambrosonide, it is skin safe. That's what IFRA rating means. If IFRA rating says that this can be used at a 5%, to me, uh, for me to use this on skin, this cannot have more than 5% ambrosonide. That's the short description of what IFRA does to you. But yes, uh, what IFRA tells you to do. But yes, this is also pending, a video about IFRA. And here I should say that it is as of the 50th amendment because IFRA being an agency that keeps working and doing a lot of research and development, there can be a possibility that an XYZ material can either be restricted in the next amendment or maybe even banned in the next amendment. So as of the 50th amendment of IFRA, ambrosonide is unrestricted. So technically use as much as you want, however you want. Again, when I say unrestricted, I need to say under the perfume category. This also I will explain what are the different categories in the IFRA video. But well, yeah. Now coming to layering. Ambrosonide is a layering monster. You can layer this with technically any fragrance that you want as long as you are okay that it changes the scent profile of the fragrance that you are layering it with. And uh, here we also have this announcement that Aroma Artisans as such, we have a fragrance line called Artisanal Isolates. These are basically isolates like or molecules like Ambrosonide or ISOE Super as such, 
where you can um, use these singular molecules for layering and this currently AI002 or artisanal isolate 002 is what ambrosonide is. The two ways of uh, layering is you spray ambrosonide and then you spray your perfume and technically you're good to go. You'll have a huge blast of uh, woody uh, scent profile along with your fragrance as such and it is a projection beast. The second way is that you decant and mix it with your fragrance um, and let it macerate because ambrosonide macerating with your fragrance can give a totally different scent profile overall compared to spraying ambrosonide and then spraying your fragrance because chemical processes just let's just say that and here the only one drawback when you're doing the maceration as such in case you're using a 10 percent ambrosonide dilution is that if you're using an extra de parfum let's assume 30 percent concentration perfume and you use your 10 percent ambrosonide and you mix them in a decant bottle and you let it macerate your final concentration is not 30 percent it's lower than that because you're using a 10 percent but at the end of the day trust me it won't matter as such because there will be performance boost as such at least whatever I have tried I mean I have tried uh, recently I decanted a very floral female fragrance and I tried that with ambrosonide and it turned out to be very interesting uh, I wore it for a day I was able to smell it probably even post the eight hour mark but again um, we never talk about uh, how long a fragrance lasts because it's just not one factor that determines the longevity of a fragrance which again probably I should make another video about so yeah uh, guys that was Embrosonide as a basic or I should say a slightly detailed video uh, talking about the basics and uh, I will try to keep making more videos uh, without having such a big time gap of a year or so and yes my next video is about IFRA and reformulations subscribe to the channel click on the like button comment and ask questions comment and give me suggestions always welcome for that and comment and correct me thank you for the comment uh, of the ethyl maltol and the rust I sincerely forgot your name but thank you uh, so yeah looking forward for the next video there are a bunch of videos coming soon yes thank you have a nice day like share and subscribe good night see you